always um, politically aware, even when I was younger, because my father would have been very politicised. So while we didn't spend dinner time conversations talking about politics, I was always politically aware. And then when I came to film at my CAO and I was 16 year old, didn't know what I wanted to do. So I decided to do economics, politics and law college and then I first went on with my masters. Probably from when I was in college to now, it was very politics was in flux, everything was changing and I never in my life, even when I started my in started college, I never imagined that I would ever go for election. I've always said that I would be in the background if I ever I would never go for election. Then I started working um, as a, a researcher, a parliamentary assistant, so I started to get more involved in policy development. I started to get I was really lucky that I got involved or had the opportunity to go to different meetings, different groups and um, meet so many people and you know you see that it's not just big politics on a national scale, it's you know, stuff going on in communities and that's kind of what gave me the push and then when I was approached to run for election, my, my whole idea had changed and that's why I, I went into it then. And as I said, my father was always um, very political and he would have been in Sinn Féin. Now, I, when I was in college, I, never, I was never active in um, college, college society there. Because I had been so immersed in Sinn Féin from a young age, I didn't want to jump straight into it. I kind of wanted time to develop my own political identity. And I did really into policies. Um, I seen how far Sinn Féin had come. And I did kind of look at joining party, then it did feel like a natural fit in that way. And I have to say it's actually really nice and it's not as intimidating as I thought it would be because the last general election, um, I mean, the, indeed the Shannon election, really shook up the political system and we did have a lot of new members as well as young members being brought in. There was a lot of young faces and even if you see a lot of the people who work around Exeter House, they're all young and there has been a space opened up um, to raise issues pertaining to young people and I don't feel like I'm, you know, token young person here. I feel like, you know, I, I'm, I'm an equal and I'm able to um, bring up issues that I want to raise. I think, you know, my age has actually helped me in some respects because while some of the the older members haven't seemed to be, you know, used time to filibuster and speak for the sake of speaking. A lot of people, including the leader of the Shannon, have recognised that I'm, you know, straight to the point and they've actually, you know, commended me for it and they really respond positively to it in all the work I've done. If any, if there has been any restraints on me, it's not because of my age. It would be just because of the institution that's in it, for example, you know, in the Shannon, my speaking time would be limited, but that's more to do with it's only three Sinn Féin centres as opposed to five to make up a group. But in terms of my potential ability, I think it's really it's been enhanced because of my age. Yeah, um, well I would be a spokesperson on each affairs, so what I've been actually doing for the last while I've been engaging with um, groups um, who are involved in the youth sector, youth affairs, young youth groups and organisations. Um, an issue that obviously is, is of vital importance will be youth unemployment, so I'm trying to um, raise that as much as possible and uh, youth immigration. Um, in the Shannon I've been raising it and we're trying to get Minister Bruton to come in and have a debate focused solely on that and how it affects and indeed I was able to raise it in the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe um, on that because it is not just an Irish problem but youth unemployment is a massive issue right across Europe. Yeah, I think my biggest piece of advice would be don't hide your light under a bushel. Young people today are so well equipped with skills, qualifications, ability and natural talent that, you know, might not traditionally have been in these houses in politics before. So don't be shy, you know, if you if you have a talent, whatever it may be at, you know, it will be in demand. And I noticed that from being here. I think it's because people recognise recognise my ability and what I had to offer, and when when you're when you can recognise that yourself, 
you'll find people around you'll recognise it and you will you will flourish.